Hi everyone, it's Arshil Ahi, and in today's video, giving you a bit of an update on the UK property market. Um, over the last 24, 48 hours, there's been some news that the property market's opening back up, and I thought I'd just give you my take on what's going to happen, and also a few predictions over what's going to happen over the next few months. Now, I was watching the news last night, and as we all do, interesting to see that they've told everyone that estate agents can open back up, letting agents can open back up and surveyors can actually start surveying properties. Now, this will be a really interesting time, especially over the next couple of months. There's, it's been reported that there's pretty much the best part of 60,000 surveys that are backlogged as a result of COVID-19. Now, we talk in some of our previous videos about whether we're going to see a housing crash um, as to are the values going to decrease. Now, this will be a testing time because as the surveyors go out, it'll be interesting to see how they value the properties over the next couple of months, which will also determine what's going to happen with the prices for the following six to 12 months. Now, admittedly, I'm going to name and shame that on the ITV news last night, there's one surveyor who literally said that I'm not going to value properties any less than what I was a couple of months ago prior to COVID-19. And I thought, well, that's an interesting comment. And the reason why I said that is because what's going to happen when you go out and survey a property, and let's just use some numbers here. Let's just say that you're going to uh, value a property at £100,000. And that is what considered almost like pre-COVID prices. You've got to remember that a surveyor is not is instructed and is working on behalf of the lender. So in this scenario, it could be HSBC, it could be Lloyd's or whoever it may be, one of the large mortgage companies. Now, what happens to the lender is that they're gonna to say to the surveyor, go out and value this property and value it based on the fact that there's gonna be some movement in the marketplace. So factor in some pricing for some correction. Now, surveyor last night on the news said, well, I'm going to value this house at the full market value as I would have previously. And I thought, well, okay, if the house was £100,000 previously, does that mean that you're going to value the house at £100,000 today? Because if you are, that's going to leave a lot of people in some difficulty going forward in the future. There's lots of talk about their, us going into recession. So by valuing it at £100,000, are you doing, you're doing the homeowner, a massive favour because they're still getting pre-COVID prices. You're not doing the purchaser any favour and you're not doing the lender any favours and these are the people that you're meant to be instructed by. And the reason why I say that is because let's say it's valued at £100,000 today. Over the next 6 to 12 months we're expecting to go into recession and therefore we're expecting the market to take a bit of a dip and a reduction in prices. So the house that you're valuing at £100,000 today, let's just work on the basis that we get even a, something as small as a 10% correction. Does that mean that that house is now going to be worth £90,000 in 6 to 12 months time? So technically speaking, if that person has bought that property, and let's just say that they've still got a 90% loan to value product on that property, are they now 100% geared and have they just lost their 10% deposit? And that surveyor would have been responsible for that. If he had commented in his report to say, well, you know, I appreciate that it was probably worth 100,000 prior to COVID, but now, as a result of COVID and everything that's going on in the marketplace, we believe it's going to be worth £90,000. That could cause everyone a bit of an issue as well. The lender will then restructure their, uh, their finance, which may mean that the purchaser will have to go back and renegotiate with the owner. I think that's what's going to happen going forward. We are going to take a price decrease. Vendors are also going to have to come to realise that they can no longer command the prices that they were COVID-19. There are going to be some people that are going in with low offers. But I thought it's interesting that the surveyors have 
gone out with the stance that we're going to try and value prior to COVID-19 and the reason why they're doing that and I appreciate the reason why they've come out and said that they want to try and maintain some confidence in the market they want to try and say well you know what COVID shouldn't really have an effect on the property value but it's not only about COVID it's about what's going on in the world it's about the confidence it's about who's going into recession it's about what's happening in the economy so by doing that yes you may remain maintain some confidence but I can imagine valuers will not tend to take the same stance they don't want to be 100% geared on a property when we talk about gearing they don't want to have a property value that which was 100,000 that they've lent 90,000 on it they don't want to have the property value worth 90,000 because let's face it worst case scenario and god forbid this happens that person gets repossessed they can't keep up with the mortgage payments or something like that what happens is that when the uh, mortgage company have to repossess it. If it's worth 90,000 and they've got a loan on it at 90,000, when they come to sell it on the open market, are they gonna achieve 90,000 or are they then gonna have to take a hit on it? Which means that have they then incurred a loss? Not only has the person been repossessed, they've, they've lost their deposit. When the mortgage company takes it back, they're gonna lose money as a result of selling it, plus all the legal costs and all the fees attached to it as well. So really interesting observation. It'll be interesting to see what the surveyors do. I think it's too early for them to go back out, not only from the business point of view, but from a safety point of view. They're going into other people's houses. Some of these people may have been uh, you know, infected with, co uh, with the coronavirus. Therefore, we're putting those people at risk. We've been uh, locked indoors in lockdown for God knows how long. I think it's far too early for us to be going out. Same with estate agents, same with letting agents. Now, the effect of what the surveyors do will also have an effect on what the estate agents do because if the surveyors are saying that we're going to try and price pre-COVID um, valuations, then estate agents are going to try and take the same stance. It's going to work in favour of estate agents because remember they work on a percentage of the property value and what the property sells for. Letting agents, again, it will also have a, a positive impact because they're uh, influenced by what happens in the sales market. So there you have it, guys. You know, quick, short video, a uh, bit of a rant, if I'm honest. If you like the video, if you're completely new to the channel, please press the subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you get notification every time I release a video. More importantly, if you're interested and you're looking for property investment deals, please go to the App Store. I've released an app called the Property Investor app. It's available on the iOS app store. It's available on Android app store. And you can go to www.propertyinvestorapp.co.uk. And finally, if you want some more free education, why don't you go to a couple of websites? You can go to arshilahi.com, which is my personal website. And also, you can download a new podcast that I release called The Property Rebel. Again, available iTunes uh, podcasts. It's available on Stitcher and available on Spotify by searching The Property Rebel. On that note, guys, I wish you all the very best of success. More importantly, stay safe and I'll speak to you very soon.